brace yourself, DCEU fans, because we have some revelatory news today. But first, Aquaman cast Patrick Wilson as Ocean Master. But who is Ocean Master? Half-brother to the Atlantean King, or Marius relishes in challenging Arthur for the throne in this bittersweet sibling rivalry turned supervillain dynamic. Imbued with a narcissism that rivals his Marvel counterpart, Loki, Orm unleashes devastation and chaos upon the high seas when things don't turn out his way. Armed with a trident that can generate and control storms, Orm can also wield magic, possesses rapid healing, endurance, and super strength. Director James Wan announced the casting of Patrick Wilson in a cheeky tweet in which he not just proclaimed, but ordained Patrick Wilson as Orm. The film will also star Amber Heard as Queen Mera and Willem Dafoe as Volko as allies of Arthur Curry. This will be the fifth time that the critically acclaimed actor will work with the director as Wilson and Wan's previous outings include Insidious, The Conjuring, and its sequels that followed. He is also the latest actor from Zack Snyder's Watchmen to join the DCEU. I think that what's interesting about this casting is that it falls in line with rumors a few months back where allegedly the Aquaman creators were trying to determine which way the film should go, with a story involving Ocean Master as the villain or Black Manta. With the issues I've read in preparation for this report, I feel that given the drama between Aquaman and Orm, they made the right call. I also look forward to the physicality of the two because even though Patrick Wilson is slender, there's only a three inch gap between the two actors in height. Jason Momoa is six foot four, Patrick Wilson is six foot one. So I wonder if they'll try to match him to Momoa or go the Loki route. Aquaman is now set for release for October 5th, 2018. And speaking of which, In spite of conflicting reports regarding the start date for the film's principal photography, we have word from the Batman solo film's director, writer, and star himself on the state of the project. In an interview with the New York Times, Ben Affleck stated, We still have to get a screenplay and get it together. I'm a real believer in not reverse engineering projects to meet a window or a date, but rather when you get the right story, the right idea, the right thing, then you make the movie. That's what we're doing and I'm hoping to get that done. I'm spending a lot of time I'm working on that, but also working on other stuff. In a different part, he went on to say, if I could, there's nothing I'd love more than to direct a standalone iconic great Batman movie, but it's been done. Chris Nolan did three really great movies. I'm mindful of that. I'm not in any hurry to jam the mediocre movie down the pipe. I really want to make sure if we do it, we get the great version and one that's worthy of tradition of guys like Tim Burton, Chris Nolan, and Christian Bale. So this is not great news, but this explains a lot about what happened with 2018 because there was a lot of talk of executives penciling in the Batman film for an expected release date of October 5th, which has now been set for Aquaman instead. And let me be very clear that what I'm describing is what you do when you have a production calendar. It's not set in stone, anything can change at any time. It's just to help plan out your productions and schedules and such. And therefore we'd heard that Warner Brothers was aiming for 2018 with Batman. So since these comments are only a few days old, it explains what happened with 2018, but it's also a bit jarring to hear talk of still assembling the screenplay. Now, a lot of you are going to disagree on what I have to say next, because it would be ideal that someone take as much time as they need to get something done. In this case, he said he was aspiring for a great version worthy of Burton, Nolan, and Bale. But dude, TikTok. You know, I wish I had a direct link, but Tony Robbins has this really great rant about how being caught up in perfectionism can actually produce results antithetical to what you were originally striving for because your mind becomes enveloped and warped by this bubble that after a while it becomes like a snake eating its own tail. You keep going back to try to make it perfect, but then it's never enough. And as a result, you never get there. And you know, sometimes you just, you gotta get it done. That's kind of the bottom line. And that's the life lesson that I impart to you all today. Turn your emotions off and just get it done. Those are just my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know down in the comments below. And hey, be sure to check out movienewsandreviews.us for the latest in news, trailers, featurettes, and more. So be sure to check us out. And remember, please subscribe so that you're notified in your newsfeed when the next video is uploaded. Please remember to give this video a like and share it about and help support this channel through Patreon and using any of the affiliate links in the description below. You people are awesome as always. And thanks for watching.